Hi. So for this problem, it says that a gentleman has a liability of 12,000 doing eight years. And this liability will be met with payments of 5,000 in five years and B in eight plus B years. Now, using if I do it three percent. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is, well, we could find the present value of the liability since it sets us up for one of the rules, but we can't really set it equal. We can't really um, find the duration given that this is denoted E plus B, and also since this S is denoted B, it will be very hard to find by that strategy. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna start by the simplest form of equation by either discounting or accumulating these assets to equal uh, what is occurring at time E, which is the liability. So the first thing that we're gonna do is that Again, we want to make sure that the assets equal the liabilities, right? So we're going to start with the assets of I because we're going to take, um, we're going to take five or 5,000. I'm going to just put five. We're going to take five. We're going to accumulate it to three years to set it to time eight. And then we're gonna take um, B, right? And we're gonna discount it to negative B years, right? Now we're also gonna discount this, but since 12, since time eight is the comparison date in which the liability occurs, we don't really do anything. So just equals to 12. So this equals the liability. The second part is that we need to um, find the, now we can finally find the duration, right? So by doing so, another way of seeing that we're finding duration is that we need to find the derivative, right? So what is the derivative of this equation? Well, let's start with this. Bring three forward, subtract from the exponent. Okay, negative B, B, big B. 1 plus i, negative b minus 1 equals this is 0. Now I got this part. Now, could there be any underlying information here? Well, not really. So it's time to go to the third part, which is convexity. We're gonna take the second derivative this time. So we're gonna do 30 times one plus i. And then we're gonna bring this to the, so since this is negative, this could be, uh, positive right and then B B one plus I minus one from here, right? So we get this much, right? 
Now, since we have these equations, it's time to solve. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna first input the interest rate into this equation at one point at 3%. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put, we're gonna denote it as 5, 1.03. Is three plus B one point zero three to the negative B equals twelve. Now we can take the calculator. We're gonna find out that it's 1.03 to the 3 times 5. This is going to be 5.463635. And we're going to subtract it from 12. We're going to get 6.5363365. It is going to equal to B one point zero three to negative B. Now we still have B and little B left, so let's delve in more into the situation. Okay. Well, uh, we see here that we can recognize this formula in this part of the equation. So let's take a look at that. Uh, we could, well, I'd say that we could just erase this since it's not, this is the convexity part of the equation, but I don't think it's really applied to full humanization. I think it's applied to Reddington. So let's erase that. Now moving on, so we could expand this to be b1 plus i to the negative b times 1 plus i to the negative 1. Now we could input this, so this would be 6.5 three six three six five right and then for this part it's having like one so it's point nine six point nine seven actually zero eight seven three B and then multiply both of these. Six point three four five nine eight five four nine. So it's going to be five. Four thirty seven. Now for this part, we input I. So fifteen point nine one three five. Now what we have here is that we could set this whole equation up to zero. So I could move this to the other side so it would become negative 15.9135. So I set this to zero over to zero. I already multiply both of these. So I guess I'll divide it by negative. 
6.3459854375. So I could get B is equal to 2.507643. And once I do that, I'm able to find big B. But first, let's do 5, 0, 7, 6, 4. Uh, now we could do B over here. So I could do 1.03 to the negative 2.507, right which is point nine two eight five five seven three nine eight right now you have to find p so six point five three And the answer would, the big B would be 7.0392687. Now we're going to divide that by the other decimal of 2.50. We're going to get 2.807. And remember, we kind of left out three zeros, so we're going to multiply that by a thousand. And we'll manage getting A as.